Yo. Hey, welcome to the new meta. Episode 165. 165. 165? It's good to say it's 164, but I think it's 165. Yeah, it's 165. Crazy. Can't believe so, uh, it. So, how you been doing, man? Crushing it. Crushing? Crushing all the things? Uh, addicted to Pee Wee Scourge, for sure. Yeah, is it? Okay, good. That's a good sign, right? Yeah, yeah, sounds, yeah, yeah. Sounds promising. Maybe. Um, And, you know, the moral just came out today, so we've been... What's that? Going out. Oh, I guess it didn't come out. Sorry, it's closed beta with the Necro. So, obviously, uh, as the a game? face of Necro, we have to give it a the shot. Infamous, the infamous clip game? Okay. Yeah, Got yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, maintain World Rally Rank 1 like we do. Um, and Diablo Mortal, easily. It's been out like 10 minutes, dude. Yep. Already ranked 6 worldwide. Let's go. <laughs> Let's um, go. So, yeah. But other than that, you know, just... Having a good time. Life's good. Cool, man. How about you? Like, what? Where, where are you? What are you doing? I am. Uh, I'm, a, I'm with Awakener. I'm chilling <laughs> with him. Uh, Finally got I'm him at home. Thing, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, chat I'm was at home. like, you you streamed, and chat was like, he's playing D3. Tell him to play PUE. And I'm like, God <laughs> damn it, Pete. <laughs> I didn't even play D3. I just jumped in the directory for a second. You know, just to just to chat. I was like, I could go to just chatting, or I could do D three. I don't think it mattered. Like D three is so dead right now. Um, but uh, I ended up playing D two because I was like, I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not going to get into Poe. So we'll jump in D two. But yeah, I've been uh, been good, man. Jump back, streamed a little bit last week. It was fun. Yeah, uh, I missed it. It was a good time. And then uh, just just life man so work super super busy uh the first is a big cutover date for us so next monday um shit will hit the fans for a couple of days and then i should start to slow down and then on top of that we got our rental property we have somebody moving in on the first so i have this weekend to finish up a laundry list so that's what i was doing tonight literally jumping in the shower like 10 seconds before the pod to to get cleaned up for the for it so um but yeah man that's that's it just crazy busy but living the dreams, stuff's good. So, yeah. Uh, I added something. Okay. So, you want to talk about games and stuff? Yeah. Let's talk right. about some video games. We got a lot this week. Yeah. This is uh, exciting times to be an ARPG fan. So, no time to waste. Uh, let's see. Bing, bing, boom. Oh, no. Oh, no. You broke it. How did I do that? It looks like your phone, bro. It is the phone. Hang on. Two seconds. Follow podcast. <laughs> Never a technical difficulty on the new meta. Fluff is literally plugging and unplugging his capture card, which is probably not going to go well. We'll see how this goes. Live. Okay. No signal. Maybe. Like it. I'm digging it. Check, check. There we oh, go. Oh, oh, there, there we is. go. All she right. Fixed it. So, as always, flawless. New meta podcast question of the week from last week. What are you league starting in Path of Exile Scourge? Option one, OP meta cuck build. Option two, building something new. Option three, same thing every league. And option four, not playing PUE Scourge. And did not playing win? It did by a lot. 41%. Yes. What are you My guys are full of shit. You guys are just being toxic just to vote the most toxic <laughs> option. They're just supporting me, man. But 23% votes is OP Metacuck. 26% my people building something brand new. And 7% people, same thing every league. Cringe. But I like not, the, as uh, not playing Scourge. The word cuck would almost always get my vote just because I think it's an hilarious word. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, what about OP okay, Cuck? Okay. okay. I'm down. Yeah, surprising uh, yeah. results. I mean, not surprising from you because you didn't play Scourge given the option. You logged in and decided to play D2. Or how did that go, by the way? It's D2, man. It's like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. What did you I start? Was, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't a huge D2 fan to begin with. I, I, I think graphically it looks pretty good. I think from, you know, like it shows it's dated. It shows its, it shows its age, though. You know, like when you play it, it feels 
it feels old to me. I don't know. So it's just like the betas, though. It, it doesn't feel any different than the betas we played, other than I got to play Necro. So, which is cool. Um, Good. Stamina, bar, stamina bar still needs to be removed. I won't, you know, it's so, so garbage. Yep. It's pretty bad. I think it's better yeah. though. Um, but yeah. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, and then the poll for next week, uh, which I know people are going to love because they love the not Diablo questions. Uh, what's your impression of Pee Scourge thus far? Option one, Poggers. Option two, needs serious work. Option three, meh. Option four, oh. not playing. Can you Actually, add, I'd I'm rather play DI? Not playing. <laughs> That's an option. Make not, play, top, make not playing off and put, would rather play DI. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let's make it trolley. I don't know if it'll fit. Oh, no, well, we're good. Would rather play DI. Oh my God. <laughs> That'll be the winner. Winner, winner. Okay, post this in chat. You guys can go vote on that. And yeah, jump right into the feature of the day. Okay, so, you know, we we knew this was coming. We said things and stuff. I mean... Yeah, we tried. We hinted at it obvious. as much as we could without getting in trouble. You know what I mean? But we've... Yeah, I mean, I we, think we've from about saying things and stuff, like exactly everything that was in this article, like, duh. We, like, we, were, we told you guys. We literally told you. So, things and stuff were happening. So, like... Yeah. I you could have predicted all of this. Right? I didn't say anything fluffed it. He broke the NDA, <laughs> not me. Just saying. I, things and stuff. I'm, I'm the good one. Um, so. But yeah, so it launched. Uh, I think I got my invite around like 7 o'clock. Um, it was, I checked this afternoon and I hadn't gotten it. So I haven't, I hadn't had a chance to check until literally right before the pod and I had it. So I don't know what time it came in, but it was late. Yeah. Um, late. But the big thing with this is that the necromancer has come out into this oh, closed beta baby uh and i will say you know the uh the female looks a lot better than the man for sure the man oh, yeah? looks like uh he's too pretty he's too pretty you get an option between yeah. like a redhead uh, is, he, is he like a a guy that a, looks a, like a edward tan he's tan yeah there's, tan? there's three yeah. options there's a, there's a redhead which i mean why would you ever pick a redhead in any video game uh Option two is like a, a dude is tan, and option three is like a guy that kind of looks like Zoolander. I'm not gonna lie. So, <laughs> I don't understand. Like, where's our platinum hair? Like, classic necromancer. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. So, what options do you get for females? Is it just one, or do you get multiple? There's three. I haven't got to fire it up yet. I, I didn't even look because I'm like, I'm not a girl. I don't. I don't. You don't identify ever play as a woman. female characters I do not. in a game. I hate playing. ever, yeah. never, ever, never, ever. I hate it. Really? Why? It's not like it's like I just like my virtual representation to be a man. I identify as a man. I I, I see don't that I, be a I girl. almost always I will play female characters all the time yeah. if given the choice. Because you're a weeb. Because I'm a weeb? Yeah. <laughs> but no. It has nothing to do with it. It's just, you know, Hello. I don't know. I don't I don't mind. It Anyone depends. that it picks honestly, any guy that picks a girl in a video game as your main character, you're a weeb, dude. You're a weeb. There's a bit of weeb so, in dude. you. Why do you want to? Like, why would you pick a would girl? You rather, would you rather look at some dude booty That's, for that, twenty thousand hours? You're describing a weeb right now. <laughs> no, or would you rather look at a girl? You know what I mean? You want to hear? Right. Or you want to hear a girl weeb. go? Oh, you know? Yep. Just think That's about weeb, it. dude. No, I don't think so. Uh, but yeah, so I've gotten to play with it just a little bit. Um, I've gotten access to like five or six skills so far. Um, I will say that, like you know. The, the corpse generation is good. Yeah, it's one of the big problems with D3 Necro is like there's not a lot of way to generate corpses. And some of the skills is like you'll do a swipe and everything that gets hit, you'll generate a corpse for them, even though obviously they didn't die. Uh, so that's cool because you can like trigger things like corpse explosion and stuff like that. So yeah. I'm all for that. How, how, do you have pets? Do, have you had I skills with pets? Started with skeletons and it's just like the D3 like kind of command skeletons is like they'll attack the target you want them to and then they'll. If you command them and they, they have a faster attack speed, it's like the enforcer mm. rune or something. How do you feel about that? Uh I think it's a little dull. I took that was the first skill yeah. I like took off my bar. That's what um, I think too. It kind of sounds I was like that because I'm not a huge fan of that skill in D3. So Yeah. I'll we'll just see like the legendaries and how they change the skill. But um and then I got the mage, and the mage is not bad. Like it's stationary, kind of like the um singularity. 
and then yeah. they just like stay in place and shoot stuff and it's pretty strong and they actually tank damage for you so that was kind of different than i think it depends D3. on what style of necro you like to play like i would i would probably always lean towards a summoner personally Ugh. Ugh. you know i know but when I when I envision a necro, I usually I usually want to go summoner. I think so, most people agree with you, but I like the yeah. other stuff. Right. So that's why I'm curious what direction they ended up embracing more in in DI if they went summoner or uh, more. I think it's fifty fifty. I, I would say again. caster. Yeah. So it's just corpse stuff, and I think there's even gonna be some caster stuff like bone spear and all that. Yeah, I think so too. So that's cool. It looks cool. Yeah. Um. So so far it's. You know, it's it's been. I think I'm more engaged than I was when I played the Barb. Do you, did you play with the controller yet? Yes. I, so I have the controller. I've got it. Like it's so. I mean, I can't even. It's like all these fucking wires. <laughs> just to play. <laughs> just to play. And so like I had get a USB C and like so for the iPhone, you just plug in. You know, we talked about this a little yeah. bit. You, for the iPhone, you just plug it in, and then like it ports out to whatever you plugged it into. But with the Android, like you plug it in to HDMI out, and it's like, oh, you want a desktop mode, desktop mode, and so like it becomes its own desktop. So I'd like plug a mouse into this thing, just to, like control the desktop, and then like launch all the games from there. And so like the controller support is like eighty percent. So like it's it feels pretty good, and then, like you know it feels mm -hmm. way better than like you know doing this again, like all hunched right, over yeah. and I like, can't see shit. And so now I can. Yeah, like, I, look had at my zero, I had zero interest in staring at the phone screen. Yeah. Like my my deal is to play it on controller projected to a monitor. You know. Yeah. And I think the big hangout for me right now is like so if you're playing just on a, like if you're just a normal like beta player. Yeah. Which sounds like I'm saying like they're beta, but no, it's like a if you're a, if you're a normal beta, okay. If you're a normal fluff <laughs> if says you're if you're a like normal me. beta, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, so if you're like playing normally, you'd have like your phone and you'd have your controller, and then like for certain things, you would like click over your phone, and it probably wouldn't be as big of a deal. But for me, because I'm all like weirdly set up, mm -hmm. I had to like bring over this like special mouse, and like that's how you can't manage your inventory through the controller yet, and you can't manage like the menus through the inventory through your controller yet. So there is that like break up and smooth gameplay so far. Um, I think that they plan on having like full support at some point. I don't I remember reading something about yeah, that. They said, they said they're working on it still, yeah. I think, in, in some of the stuff that we read. It'd be cool. I don't know if you've seen, they actually have things where it's like a controller, right? And then your phone like sits. Yeah, on I've seen it. those. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And if it supported something like that, if you were hardcore DI. Or maybe you're a hardcore phone gamer. You already have that. And then, then you could just touch the screen. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. But they support yeah. Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Elite, Adaptive, Sony DualShock, Razer. Um, and I couldn't get any of those to work. So I have a Xbox One controller and an Elite controller. And I couldn't get either of those to work. Mm. Um, but I have a, a Switch Pro remote, email, or controller. I was able to get that, that one to connect. And that one worked? Yeah. That's funny. So, I don't know. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so I've got I'll, that I'll going. I'll DualShock and see if it yeah. works. You should let me know. Yeah. Um, but then they they changed a lot with the Circle of Strife. Like now, like when you become the immortal, you're like gigantic. And <laughs> you take yeah. on a raid of like, gosh, how many people was it? It was like 18 or something? It was a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was close to 20, 30. I think. Not quite, though. It was, it was, it was a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want to say, I think, yeah, I think 30, you might have been 30, right 30. with 18. I can't it's remember. It's 30. It's 30. Oh, is it 30? Yeah. 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 Um, but it's, it's a lot, man. You're, you're banging them. Yeah. And so. then if you were successful and you kill the mortal, then it becomes like a big free for all and wh whatever team yeah, wins. It turns there. into a BR. Yeah. So, which is interesting. This is a really cool system. I honestly think that this is a really cool thing. The, the problem I have with this is it's too elitist, right? Your, your casual guy is never going to experience this. Your even your semi hardcore guy is probably never going to experience this. Yeah, this this is going to be People for the guys that yeah. spend a tw ton of money and play twenty four seven. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so it's a really cool thing, but you don't get to experience it. So yeah, um, is uh, that yeah? I I, I I concur with that statement. You know, we got you got you probably have the boys like you know like Rex and you know people that can do this full time and go ham and know what they're doing and they'll just wreck at the stuff and that's fine i mean i'm glad there's something for those types of players. yeah 
I, I do I do too. I just and I think it's a really cool thing. I just I think that to get I think you're gonna have a hard time keeping your community excited about this. Like your like your community on Twitch might be excited about it, but that's a, I think that's a really small minority of your players that aren't gonna be they're gonna be like that's I don't care. I'm it's not gonna be me. So peace. Which is fine. They might have more systems. I think this is really cool though. Uh, I think the concept's really cool. If if someday or somehow they just they or it's accessible to more people to play something like this. I think that would be um, a, yeah. a nice system to add to the game. So it's it is cool though. So what what like what Fluff was saying is there's the immortal the the leader of the immortals at whatever Sunday or whatever ritual day that, that Blizzard chooses to make it happen. They go in and they have to defend against the shadows, and like thirty of them will go in and attack this immortal, and it's a one v thirty. And if the immortal successfully kills them all, then he stays the leader for the next cycle, whether that's two weeks or a month or however long they choose to, to finally finalize it. I think it's two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, and then if he loses, then as soon as he loses, the game mode flips to a BR and then the shadows start attacking each other yeah. and the last one to live becomes the new immortal. So it's a really cool system, actually. But, it's interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and... Also, they're adding set items, which I know there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of mm -hmm. negative connotation behind set that. items. Yeah. So I, I was a little surprised by this, but, you know, I think they're just, they're just embracing that D3 mentality, like set items, you know, Paragon, like they're not afraid, you know, I guess. So I think they want to like things to make sense to players that are returning instead of like renaming everything. But at the same time, I don't know. There's a lot of negative. Yeah energy surrounding those they're, words. they're doing set items in in spots that didn't have the legendaries before though right right yeah so all the legendaries and all the stuff that we, we saw in the last the last beta they didn't remove or take that away and you're still going to want to equip those they just added sets on top of it yeah and there's six slots for sets and there's two there's a three piece and a six piece if i remember correctly I haven't mm -hmm. looked at the notes in a couple in like a week two or so. Three. so right. yeah. yeah. So so you can mix and match if you want to have two two pieces or a six piece. So um but, but the thing that's gonna happen is I I I clearly think this is gonna define a meta a hundred percent in stone. You're gonna wear two two pieces or two or one six piece, whatever ends up being more powerful, and those yeah. fill up all of those slots every every time. Well, no it's matter the same what. about the armor with yeah. The eye. So yeah. my I mean there's yeah. gonna be a meta for whatever. It's 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 gonna be very D three ish. Yeah. I very, feel. very D three ish. I agree. It's gonna it's gonna be like this is the best, you need to hunt this item and put it on. So Yeah. And you can like awaken items now. Is that in this? Uh it's gotta be there somewhere. Cause it's they had the appearance visuals was one of the things. Enhance item drops. Hmm. Maybe not. But it's in there. I thought it was. But yeah, you can like awaken gear now and then like that adds stats to it. And so like my first question, we had like a Q&A panel off the line and I asked if uh, if that was like static or dynamic because you know me and I'm like, oh yeah, you can corrupt something and like slam mm -hmm. it and like oh it'll turn shit or it'll turn like really good and then you know, like do it all it's, over again it's, it's totally static, static isn't it yeah, yeah, yeah i thought so yeah. <laughs> in the true d3 fashion uh, unfortunately so i don't know i i get it from like a mobile gaming experience but to me i like that the rng factor that keeps you like grinding pieces of gear and not just like keeping the same thing on forever and ever yeah for sure uh but yeah so a lot of little updates. Uh, they made it update to the Hello Query because um, there was some feedback after the last beta that there wasn't enough PVE content. So they, I guess they made it more challenging and for eight players. And hopefully that'll be cool. And uh, yeah. it took a lot of feedback from the guys that were that had that went total ham on it yeah. and changed a lot of the exploits and bugs and things that they found. Um, so. You know, there was a lot of behind the scenes things that aren't like noted in patch notes that in the QA people were asking about. And they're like, yeah, we fixed that. We changed that. We made it so you can't do that for like a lot of the exploity things that people were doing. Yeah. So, 
Um, so that's cool. So they, they, they definitely, they're definitely listening to the feedback. So if you're, um, you know, you happen to listen to the new meta and you're in the closed beta, then like definitely give your feedback to them and, yeah, you know, and they, they read it and, and take it serious. Yeah. So. So, uh, do you think you're going to get in and give it a shot or I'm definitely going to play it. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stream it, but I'm definitely going to play it gotcha. for sure. So if it's because it honestly, and the, the reason I don't know if I'm going to stream it is I don't know if I want to go through the effort of trying to stream this Android phone. Uh, it seems annoying. like, yeah, it seems like a pain in the ass. So, uh, fluff and I are both iOS guys. And so blizzard sent us some phones to play on and yep. i'm like cool so loners, thanks Blizz. Chat. yeah lo loner phones we have to get the phones <laughs> back but they sent us they sent us some loner phones to play and it's um so to set it if it's if i can get it to stream easy then i might but i'm not gonna tear my system apart to to get it hooked up yeah so it's super obnoxious yeah uh but yeah that's going on you know we told you things and stuff so there it is. That's the things and stuff. Yep. Big stuff happening. So if you're a big Diablo Mortal fan or you're interested in checking that out, then you got so, a lot. So do you think <laughs> they gave you phones? Yeah, that is kind of funny, isn't it? Do you not have phones? We got one for you. Here you go. <laughs> like, actually, not you mentioned it. I don't <laughs> have <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, actually, yeah, actually, I don't have a phone. <laughs> I don't have an Android. <laughs> yeah. That's not funny. Yep. All right. Um, you think they got things and stuff for D3 coming? Is that what you, is that what you're saying? There's things and stuff for D3 coming. Is that what you're? Things and stuff. Do you think there's things and stuff coming for D3? Things and stuff. You think? M maybe. Like soon? Maybe. Maybe there's things and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be cool. I I don't know any things and stuff, but if I were to guess, there might be some things and stuff coming for D3. Yeah. You know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. And moving on. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I thought this was kind of funny. So, this is what 300% magic find looks like. This is from the Diablo 2 uh, subreddit. And it's just a picture of him with a bunch of town portal. <laughs> and I hate it. Like, he, I really. That's because he this. picked everything else up. Let's be no, real. No, Come no, on, no, no. He set that no, shit no, up. No, no, no. Because you can have a ton of magic find and just still. I hate stats in games. Or like you just don't feel it. It's all like, well, yeah. I hope, and like, yeah, this is making some imaginary number that I can't see go up, and then like the RNG chance goes. I can't stand. You know, like that. that's something that bugs me like crazy. Is when games like, let's say you have a description, right? And it's like, it's like, it makes your movement faster. Why isn't there an option in every game to be like, how much faster? I want to know an actual percentage number of how much faster that is so I can make an educated choice if I want to do it. You know, like a, an example would be like major, uh, major damage increase was like a modifier. And I, I just finished the expansion for Ghost of uh, Tsushima on, on PlayStation. It was a fabulous game. But like one of the armor sets is like major increase to damage. Wow. What the, what, how much is major, <laughs> major. dude? It says major, and it's like okay, well, yeah. but what does that mean? Am I doubling my damage? Is that a quarter more? Like, because I don't know if I want to wear it, you know. Right. So yeah. I think there should always be like a advanced tooltip mode or something where you can see exactly what the hell's going on. Yeah, so I'm with you. I care. Magic find, like you know, you got one percent chance it makes it. You got three hundred percent now. It's yeah. It is one thing, honestly. Like I don't like so scourge. There's like a scourge tree. And part of that's like, okay, every single time you scourge an item, there's a 5% chance that it'll add like an extra explicit or something like that. And I'm down with that stuff. Like I'm not investing yeah. my gear stats. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to invest like, so I say I get three prefixes, three suffixes, and I need all those. Like, you know, I get health evasion and whatever. Like I don't want to waste one of my six stats on something that doesn't really benefit my character like on the surface. Like I hate yeah. the whole behind the scenes. Like yeah, Just magic <laughs> find. Bleh. Poe's got it too. Right. I can't stand it. I can't stand. Yeah, it. I don't. I don't really. I'm not. I'm with you, man. If you got max magic find and you kill a boss, you should see shit everywhere. It should be like I'm swimming in loot. You know, right. I'm maxed out. You can't get any more than this. Right. So I just yeah, don't like I'm, the 
That's the idea of intentionally giving yourself just to get like maybe more loot. Yeah, there was yeah, there's there's been one game that I played, um, which is it's kind of weird, but uh, the crew, which was a, a racing game, had a had sets in it. You could equip a set, and it would gimp your performance and make you slower. But if you won, you got twice as many drops at the end. Like it literally was just like double your drops. And so when you if you were good enough to run that set, like it was very rewarding. But you took a penalty for doing it. And so I think things like this games, ARPGs. There should, there should be sets that's like, hey, this set kind of sucks in damage, but if you kill a boss, like you're going to get crazy drops from it. So there you yeah. go. Agreed. And then this, uh, well, I mean, we probably all saw this coming, but it was an announcement nonetheless. So uh, Vicarious is now merged into Blizzard. Basically, Blizzard's absorbing. So Vicarious Visions yeah. is basically no more. So Yeah, we called just... this one back when it happened, I think. You yeah. Know? It's now the classic just, games division inside of Blizzard. Yeah. They they did a good job with the stuff that, that I've seen. Um, I think this D2R battle.net stuff is the worst thing that I've ever seen come out of Vicarious, but I don't know if that was them yeah, we don't or know if that's that, the yeah. battle.net team. You know sure. what I mean? Because the port, the port seems pretty solid from what I've played. Uh, people were complaining about... The only issue that I had when I've, anytime I've played D2, the only issue I've had is waiting in queue to get in. Like that drives me pretty bonkers. Um, and especially I had one time where I was going to play off stream and I queued it up and I sat in queue for, a, I don't know, man, it was, it was long enough for me to be like, fuck it and play something else, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't want to wait 10 minutes to, to play like, you know, yeah, it sucks that they're still having those issues or still seeing posts every day on reddit it's like every morning i have to wait like an hour in the queue just to get into the game and yeah uh, that feels bad man um yep. i, I gave it like 10 minutes and i'm like to the launch. it's great yeah i'm crazy out. so i'll go play some months Hopefully so it's you know it it's weird people are just like we'll play offline i'm like yeah that, that, i don't want to though yeah. like that feels bad like yeah. i don't know like to me i'm always online no cheat I'm, I'm like cheats drive me nutty and it, even though i know there's like no protection like people are still gonna cheat in the battle.net at least there's a little sense right, right? Yeah. Oh, there's no cheating at least there's hope. that you know thread of hope out there that like they can just get yeah. banned <laughs> right, right? Like, you know yeah 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 and so it's like i'm gonna play online man and someday i might group up with somebody and i want to know that they're probably legit players too or whatever but sure I, yeah, man, I just, I'm going to wait and queue and play, but it does, man. 10 minutes is enough for me to go, well, I guess I'm just going to hop on Classic. You know, I got an hour to game. I'm going to play Classic TBC instead, and, you know, instead yep. of leveling the Necro up. So. I get it. Um, and then I kind of want to skip to this one real quick because we just talked about kind of Blizzard absorbing Vicarious. And Blizzard also can, I came out with a letter to whomever you know stakeholders the community and i didn't see this actually yeah uh so basically you know they came out and repeat the same rhetoric that they always do they're like oh you know we'll, we will be better and um so they've come up with these new like company-wide changes policies. Yeah. policies yeah so number one is we are launching a new zero tolerance harassment policy company wide. I mean, like, why didn't have that already? <laughs> the fuck! <laughs> like, good job, man. <laughs> I'm gonna, Ooh. I'm gonna burn bridges, dude. If I, I know. actually respond to this, I feel like you know, like, yeah. would have been probably good to have <laughs> already, but oh man. That's horrible, dude. Okay. Uh, we will increase the percentage of women and non-binary people in our workforce by 50% and will invest $250 million to accelerate opportunities for diverse talent. Well, they're increasing by 50% of what they already have? Well, that could be like 1%. So they're going to go to 1.5%? Like, okay. But yeah. I get it. I think you know, this one's like, like, it's tough because... Yeah. Well, you just hire who's right for the, the position. Job, right, like, exactly. That's what yeah, I like you, to say. But you, like, if you, you got somebody that. that's good for the job, hire them. Right. Like if it's man, woman, dog, yeah. I don't care what it is. Right. Like, just hire them. And if as they a can do it. Diablo lover, like, do you hire? Yeah, I want you to 100% hire the guy that's going to make like the best dungeons or like the best characters and stuff like that. I don't want you to like hire the diverse 
you know, like the option just because it's like looks better in the, the limelight of the public eye. Yeah. Like, please hire the person that's best for the job. Yeah. But, um, okay. I mean, it's good though, you know? Yeah. You know what? So this is kind of relating. And I saw this on ESPN. When I wake up every morning, I throw ESPN on just to see what happened last night, right? With scores. ESPN had an article where the NFL announced the thing that they're going to make it mandatory for teams, for NFL teams. They already put a policy in place that you have to interview a minority for a head coaching position, that they have to interview two minorities before they can make a hire, right? And so my thought process is that that's so you're just arbitrarily making them go out and interview two minorities, but that doesn't mean that they're going to hire them. They're just going to do the dog and pony show. So they then increased it again to make it to where they had to do two minorities for, for executives like GMs and other executive positions as well. And it's like, am I missing something here? Like what, what purpose is that going to serve? Like you're making them interview people. You think they're actually going to be like, well, we weren't going to interview this guy, but since we have to, maybe we'll hire him now. He was good. I mean, if they I don't, phase out, you know, white people. I don't understand. We've had our reign for too long, you know, so. <laughs> just I don't, well, out. I mean, I understand. I understand. Yeah, I, understand I definitely think th that I, I just want whoever's right for the job to get hired. I don't care what the race they are, yeah. you know, or gender. But it's like the NFL makes that rule. And it seems to me like on the top, that rule is just sugar is just to please people and make yeah. them happy. Like the is rule the rule, is, is that kind rule of actually going to make a difference? <laughs> yeah. Right. It's like you have to view minorities. Okay. But you don't have to hire the minority. So you're just going to make them do a dog and pony show just to say that they interviewed them. It doesn't make yeah. sense to me. It's like, how is that going to fix the problem? Like, you know, I mean, I guess know. gives the opportunity for someone to like genuinely impress, but who knows? Uh, yeah, um, but it's, but this is kind of so the reason I brought that up is because I feel like, you know, it kind of fits in the thing is it's just like, so you're going to hire more minor or more women in, in, um, what do they say? I forget the wording they used, whatever, but just say, what to say more, more women in the workforce. That's right. awesome, man. But yeah. if, if the right person's not, not the person you're hiring, then you're, you know, like, what are you doing? Right. Like, I don't want Blizzard to hire like the person that's 75 percent as good as the best candidate just because of yeah. diversification right um yeah so option, rule three is based on feedback from employees we are waiving required arbitration yeah arbitration of sexual harassment and discrimination claims cool i'm, I'm looking for that in the paragraph <laughs> four we will continue to increase visibility on pay e equity uh we heard this from you know, numerous sources that, uh, even from Brandy, that like she didn't get the compensation that she deserved. Um, and we've heard that from no numerous sources, not just community. Yeah, members. yeah, I heard that too. That that they're that like um, I, I'm a I'm a yeah. If like women were making twenty percent less than the men counterparts at Blizzard, I think it was in the article that I read. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty significant, man. That's that's pretty crazy. I'd, Blows my mind too. It's like if you have the same person doing the same job and they're equally qualified, they should make the same money. So, you know. Um, and then number five, we'll provide regular progress updates. Get out of here, dude. Why are you promising shit you're not going to uphold? You didn't even, you know, man, the quarterly update was even late, you know? So. Uh, but it's interesting here because. At the bottom, there's another bold line. Specifically, I've asked the board to reduce my pay to the lowest amount California law will allow for people earning a salary, which is $62,500. I didn't even know California had a law that said your salary has to be that, to be a minimum salary. That's crazy. Which is like, I don't know. To me, you know, like the salary gets reduced, but I'm sure like the shares and like the profit sharing, none of that's probably going to hit. Like it probably makes nothing from Bobby, the salary. Bobby did that? Yeah. I mean, listen, if Bobby legitimately took a huge pay loss for this, then but again, hats off, Bobby. I don't think that his, the majority of his pay comes from his salary. I agree with you. Yeah. I said, if he genuinely takes a profit <laughs> loss, I worded it specifically to say that I, he's, you know... He's probably still raking millions somehow, yeah. some way. You know what I mean? So, right. um, but if not, but you know, 
if his salary goes out to, you know, it's like, oh, but I hired my wife as a janitor. She's making 2.5 million a year. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> you know, okay, Bobby, I see what you do. Yeah. You know? Yeah. His son, his son's magically now on the board or some shit, you know, getting super paid. Right. So, but no, that's, that's, you know, that's at least uh, something. This is an interesting article though, but this whole article just screams like, oh shit, we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah. And, and we're trying to make you guys not freak out as much as you should be. Yeah. It just sucks that, you know, Blizzard, they just like, can't, can't do anything right. It seems they just completely just have plummeted this. And then just like more bad news and more bad news and more bad news. And it sucks too, because like, I feel like as a community, like the Diablo, like obviously the Diablo community management has been like just insanely awesome. And like, yeah, there's just been so much more good. communication and like, you know, before these guys, like, you know, we never talked to anyone and, and like we had no direct line to anyone if there was something wrong with the game. And now it's just like, you know, like we can send somebody a DM if like, oh my God, there's this game breaking bug. Like, and that just never yeah. happened before. Yeah. Um, so this says, so chat's telling me to keep reading. So the line, the bold line says specifically, I have asked the board to reduce my pay to the lowest amount California law will allow for people earning a salary, which is 62.5. To be clear, this is a reduction in my overall compensation, not just my salary. I'm asking not to receive any bonuses or be granted any equity during this time. You guys a fucking millionaire. So like, whatever. No, but good for him, man. Like you can't shit on him just because he turned no, a bunch of money shit on him. It doesn't matter because like it's me being like, okay, like uh, you know, don't give me like a dollar this year. Like, fuck off. Yeah, because he doesn't need the money. Like I get it, but he could have just been greedy and taking it until he got fired. He's trying to save his job, is what it sounds like. He's like, okay, if I take if I take no money this year, next year I can take my salary and make my millions again. Where if I get fired this year, I'll be fucked next year too. You know, but. But that's cool, man. Somebody, you know, like, it's something. It's definitely something. So. Sure. Um, he could have just taken the money. Like, I don't understand. He could just like, resign, fuck. too, you know? like <laughs> You're like, fuck this guy, huh? 100%. <laughs> I mean, like, there's a lot of allegations against him. So it's like, I don't oh, know. Oh, are there? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't read them. They're, they're, he's directly reported in this? I mean, What'd he's he like, oh, there's a bunch of sketch shit with Bobby Cody. Did he booty slap? Bobby. Bobby it, the booty slap. Just, yeah, it doesn't have a lot. There's stuff that's like doesn't even have anything to do with Blizz. Anyways. Oh, really? Um, But yeah, and so there's all that and you know, hopefully Blizzard, I honestly want Blizzard to turn around. Obviously, we all want Blizzard to turn around. We want yeah. Diablo There's some to be, good like, people that work game. at Blizzard, Yeah, man. of course. Like, I, yeah, like there's some really good people that I know that work there and um, I mean, I feel bad for them. Like, I really do because the overall sentiment around Blizzard is horrible. Like, my brother isn't a super gamer. He plays WoW. He plays a little Diablo. And uh, he said, he he sent me a text the other day when D2 came out, like, like maybe a week after it came out. And he's like, man, I've been thinking about buying D2, but fuck Blizzard. <laughs> like, that's literally out of the blue. Yeah. And, and, he are, and he knows that I know people and have friends that work right. at Blizz. And, I, and I'm just like, I'm like, man, yeah, it's bad, dude. Like, we had a whole conversation, and I was like, there's still good people that work there, though. Like, I know that there's some bad guys, but there's also good people, too. That's yeah. that's all I can say, you know? So, it sucks. Yeah. Um, and then kind of some sad news, but, like, it makes sense, at, you know, given the current Blizzard climate, but they basically said no BlizzCon line will be scheduled ever. for next year or potentially ever again. Um yeah, which is sad because you know the two blizzards <laughs> that or BlizzCons that we went to were super fun. You know the first one, well, although sad, was still we like we still it had was still fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, dude, it was still fun. But not because Blizzard made it fun, but because like you know you get hang out with the community and all that stuff. So, I wonder what it would be even post post vid. I wonder if it would be good post COVID, like if it would still be the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even I don't know. I've been to like some or... big things, like you know. Now that people are vaccinated, and I don't like doesn't most people don't seem to give a shit. So I'm I'm curious what the convention would look like. Yeah, but yeah, I think it. I think that keeps them on a firm schedule to have stuff to show too. I think they're a lot more. I, you know, I hope that they just do like impromptu 
BlizzCon. So like, okay, we got stuff to show. Like, let's schedule one like six months out and then we can, you know, like, let's say that they know D4 is re- almost ready. We're like, listen, we know we're going to launch it Christmas of 23. It's going to be done. So summer of 23, let's have a big BlizzCon and like hype it up. Like, that would be the play. You know what I want? This is the play to me, right? So best com- gaming convention I ever went to, ExileCon. Because it's all about Path of Exile, the game that I care about. I don't want to go yeah. to, like, I hate BlizzCon and, like, I don't care about World of Warcraft, Doc Leave. I, I don't do. care about, you know, Overwatch. I don't care about these yeah. RTS games. I, I want DiabloCon. I thought it's all I care about. So, like, I immediately would be more interested. They just had, like, focused conventions or, like, You know what we summits. should do? Like, you and I should just plan fucking RPG Con. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and just do it, dude. You know? Well, we're not a convention yeah. center or something. I'd just be... Smile at the boys from Smilegate coming over, Path of Exile. I'm just saying, man. Diablo, so we do it Blizzard. one year, and let's say we only get a couple hundred people to show up. That's fine. The next year we get a couple thousand. Yeah. Before we know I'm it, a saying, couple of years from now, boom, dude, separate we got the forty thousand people. You could have a, a Wow Con, Doc Lee. You could have uh, Overwatch Con. You could have yeah, Star Wars. You could just do RPG Star, Con Star, or whatever. Or, you know, we couldn't call it. We couldn't call it Diablo Con. Yeah, you, you could. Know, now I don't know if we could get away with that. I no, Blizzard I mean, would be like, Blizzard mm. should do Diablo Con. I'm no, saying, Blizzard like, could. Yeah. yeah. They should do so, Diablo Con, for sure. Yeah. We should do it. Just fuck it. Let's do it. Um, New Metacon. Let's go. go. New Metacon. Yeah. New Metacon. That sounds like a transformer. 42 people will go. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of all I'm to share there. Kind of sad, yeah. but I get yeah. it. Makes sense. And, you know, I think that they had like a they announce a BlizzCon, there'd be like, you know, it'd probably be like free Hong Kong, but like a lot worse now. Yeah. So, um, makes sense. I'm looking something up real fast. What are you Let's looking see. at? What do you got? Uh, well, this happened a while ago, and I know we talked about it, but I wanted to get, uh, see if there was any more news. They dismantled the classics, the classic games team back in January, right? Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, I was just curious if that, uh i thought there was something with vicarious around that too okay i was just looking to see if there was info on that any update um, so let's talk about this scourge stuff yeah man. yeah 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 how, yeah okay yeah, yeah, here's yeah, yeah, my yeah. number one question every okay. league lit on me how was the launch tell okay, me about it so <laughs> tell me so it's like it's like it's we're central time so it's 3 p.m central right yes 259 it, it was two actually it was two two oh yeah. they moved it up an hour okay so it's 159 central yep. and you're you're like okay ready to go yep. clocks ticks what happens yeah i didn't get in the queue uh until like really last minute so i was like 50k in line or something like that which is pretty far Ooh. down the line yeah. um and so i had to wait like probably nine minutes to get in that's not bad no it's not bad but the people that were at the top of the queue like in the top 10k or even like top 50k like Pretty much everyone that got in got disconnected and had to wait in the queue again. Oh, rip. So, so they still haven't implemented a placeholder system for right. the queue. Yeah. Um, wow, did that so early. And that's, I was huge. fortunate enough that like I didn't get booted. I didn't. I think there was one point in the campaign I got kicked back in the queue and there's only like 3K people in the queue at that point. So it went really, really fast. Uh, but there were a lot of people that were getting disconnects uh, like crazy, um, especially in my chat. So... Yeah, I mean that it sucks, but overall, again, pretty smooth. Oh, you know, for a launch for a BOE a, launch. Yeah, well, for a launch of anything. Um, but yeah, smooth. Just disconnects, unfortunately. I can't. I'm not. I can't lie. When TBC launched, Blizzard killed it. Like they were ready. That was one of the smoothest launches I've ever seen. And mm-hmm. for the numbers, like it was insane. Like it, they learned from the classic launch, so. I was proud of them for that. Um, but it's it's cool to see this, that it wasn't PoE's launch wasn't wasn't horrible. Did they have did they did they pay big streamers again this time? I don't know. I saw Shroud the first day. I don't know. Well, that's I don't what know I was wondering if he was actually yeah, playing on his own I didn't will read or read his title to see if there was yeah. like a hashtag ad or anything, but but it was cool because like Quinn was still like had more people. So I was like, yeah, good on yeah, you. Yeah, I saw yeah, I saw he's doing good. Um he's been doing really good though. Oh, anyways. Yeah. Uh, but they also kind of were a little bit transparent about, um, how many people 
played, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So yeah, over the weekend, we launched Path of Exile Scourge, and we're thrilled about the number of people joining us for launch. In fact, we reached 254,570 peak player concurrency, which is 96% of our previous highest score. So That's cool. Yeah. What do you think about that number? Do you think that's higher or lower? Than what I expected? Than what you expected it to be? And what do you think that is compared to a D3 season launch? That's a good question. I think... That's definitely lower than what I expected. Um, yeah. Because like, there's probably more people than that in the directory for Path of Exile on the league launch day. Yeah. I, I honestly, it looks low to me too. I would have expected more. Uh, I, I'm not saying that's a low number. That's obviously a phenomenal number. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But um, I would have expected it to be closer to a million. I don't know why I would ballpark that, but I would yeah. be like, yeah, I bet they hit close to a million. Um. I, I honestly think that D3 launches, I don't know anymore, man. I don't know how this next one's going to go. But I would say a year ago, the season launches are two years ago for D3. We're probably in the million, over a million easy. Um, I, I've heard I, I've heard hints that it's pretty significantly large. Uh, I, I've, nobody's ever told me a, a number, but they've been like, it's it's big. Yeah, you there's know? no way Blister so, would ever tell us. <laughs> yeah, they, they wouldn't tell me yeah. the number exactly, but they're just like, it's big. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and, and I, of course, I try to get, I'm like, how big are we talking? Like 10 million? You know, I'm like, hot or cold? You know, trying to guess. Right. But, but it's, it's, you know, it's good numbers from what have been hinted. But yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, I've been really addicted to Scourge so far. I do think that the league mechanic itself, like actually hitting V and like going into the, upside down basically well, tell me it, tell me about the mechanics because i didn't play it so how does it work exactly yeah, i saw the, the trailer but let's see what it's uh yeah so the, the, the juicy deets when you're in a map you uh you kill stuff and you'll get this like blood bar that fills up in the top right like i'll just go like kill some stuff and some zone maybe i can this guy wants to play so bad. He's like, yo, I'll just, uh, I'll just yeah, do I'll just it play. Stream. Stream. Let's go. <laughs> just, just wait a second. We'll do it during the podcast. But yeah, you go kill some stuff, and uh, you get this bar that fills up, right? Okay, I see it. Yeah, yeah. Looks nice. If you guys are listening and you can't hear, there's a little blood bar next to his mini map. And then it fills up. You can hit V, and then it goes into like the underground. Like maybe if I just like kill some stuff. You go to the upside down from Stranger Things. Got exactly. It. Okay. Exactly. Um, and yeah. I even know what that is. So the memes were funny. No, dude. Um, was there a lot of memes about the upside down? No, actually, like, really, not really. And to me, it's like, obvious. okay, so now it's like full enough, and so I can hit B, and then I go to like this other Ooh. zone, and I kill around. And kill There's stuff. corruption on the ground now. Yeah. And, okay. you, and what happens? It didn't is take you, many kills to go to the upside down. No, it really know? doesn't. You you enter the upside down like you can enter like ten times a map if you get like enough density. Okay, so so what happens when you actually enter the upside down though? So there's there was new monsters. It looks like yeah. So you get the new. Are monsters. they tougher? Uh, so the first few days they were really tough. Uh, they hit like a fucking truck, um, and they got nerfed. But okay, there's still some of me at the like really, like the screamer guys and um the guys that have like the laser. You really have to look out for those guys. And if you get stunned, you're just dead. But. Um, so you're in the upside down. You got new new gear window. Looks like new yeah. spots. Yeah, and so basically, um. All those kills while you're in the upside down count towards like these. Wait, you don't even have a level. six link yet? I don't. Don't don't talk you to me. Filthy <laughs> casual, dude. What the hell? And I just this guy. I, I should have one because it's actually pretty easy to six link this league, but I'm just really unlucky. Um, but yeah, so uh, originally you start with one slot and you can like you throw some stuff in there and like the more things you kill, this bar will fill up right here, right? So when it fills up, you get the ability to transform the item, which basically just corrupts it, and it can add like two. It can add two good things and like one negative thing if you have your tree spec for it. And so I'm trying to think of an option or what I have. So like this one has the dexterity requirement went way up, but it gives plus dex and attack speed, which is terrible for me, but it's a beneficial thing. Like that's a great thing, especially if you're a dexterity build. So like the yeah. the negative thing is the dexterity requirement goes up so you need more decks to put it on but the positive thing right. is it gives you decks and it gives you attack speed but if you're playing a dex based class that may not be an issue yeah it's not an issue at all so like yeah. that's the whole so point is you're trying to negative. get yeah. something that's like not negative but negative right um 
Yeah, like this one. I got 21 chaos implicit on my helmet and minions have reduced life. Well, I'm not running any minions, so great. Right, so GG's. Right. Um, so yeah, uh, that's kind of the, the point. And, and that whole mechanic, the, the corrupting things, I gotta be honest, like, I love doing it. What the fuck? You're <laughs> about to die, dude. Here. Jesus, this game. Is Anyways. this SSF? Is this hardcore? <laughs> it's SSF. It's not hardcore. It's not hardcore, though. Um, okay. That would have been amazing if you would have ripped on on, right? on the new meta, dude. Um, but yeah, and so like the going into the other under or the upside down is like really smooth and it's fun and like there's a ton of mobs and like I think that whole piece is like pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, but like the, the actual, I've never seen anyone corrupt anything good. I, the only thing I see on Reddit is people like posting like t ridiculous meme bad effects. Like you'll get something that says like deal physical damage, but the negative effect is like deal no physical damage. And like, <laughs> yeah, yeah like people just like totally breaking items. So, so what, so you have, a, I can't, it's hard for me to see the screen cause it's, it's small, but is that a chess piece you're hovering over right now? Yeah. Okay. So you had that chess piece in there and when your corruption bar fills up. Yeah then you can slam that and corrupt it. And if it's good, then you're like, yo, and then you'll try to six link it or whatever. But if it's garbage, then what do you do? Just throw it away and throw a no chest piece in there? Well, that would be my other complaint. So like what you just said, it's like, whoa, that hit something really good. Now I'm going to try to craft on it. Well, you've already corrupted it, so you can't. Oh yeah, true. So that's like the problem is that you like, you have to like, you want to invest on the item to even like throw it in there to corrupt. Um, and then, you know, and I think that's, I think it'll be better like late game as like this, the league progresses and you're like, you just have more well, gear. Didn't they add items that let you mo craft, uh, work on corrupted yeah, stuff? Is that shit not drop? drop? So I've played a lot. Um, I basically spent all of my free time playing and I think I have, yeah, I've got 15 blacksmith tainted stones. I've got 13 tainted chromes. I've got 12 tainted fusings. And I've got 12 armor scarabs and 15 tainted jeweler orbs. So it's like. Okay. Uh, here's a greedy, a greedy GGG question. Yeah. Those items are not slotted in the currency thing. Did they right. make a new currency tab specifically for those? I th here, okay. So I th assume that they would, but it makes sense that they didn't. And I'm hoping, like, I know where your head's going. It's like, oh, they'll just make a new currency tab. I don't think yeah. they'll do that. But I think they wanted to see if this league was a success before they decided before to Before they them. added it. Yeah. Okay, so if they adopt it permanently, then they'll probably... I would it. assume. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because you know exactly where I was going. I was like, yeah, those, yeah. those assholes are going to sell a whole new <laughs> currency tab. So. I mean, maybe they could. Yeah. Um, but yeah, outside of that, um, obviously, like, the passive skill tree mastery, like we said last podcast we knew that was going to be awesome i absolutely mm -hmm. love it uh it makes builds like in theory crafting that much more interesting you think it added a lot of power to builds having the new i think some builds benefit more nodes. than others like the poison stuff is so good um the life stuff's pretty good the chaos stuff is pretty good so i mean Tell me I, about your build are you liking it Which, oh what God, did you I'm end up going with? it looked build. it looked cool yeah so i ended up going like i wanted to do like everything was going to be super experimental. So I, what I originally wanted to do was like a poison tornado uh, with the new tornado ability. Mm -hmm. But then I quickly realized you can't like poison the tornado, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that sucks. Can um, you shoot poison into it and have it throw it out? No, but you can shoot. You, so you can shoot projectiles into it and like it only scales off the hit. So like the hit doesn't do the poison. The hit inflicts poison. So it didn't work as I was okay. hoping that it would. Um, but yeah, and so like that was kind of a letdown, but we're still hoping to like make it some kind of five link like with the bombers or something. But anyways, so I ended up going Dark Pact, which is like a skill that has been in the game for a really long time, but has kind of sucked. And it's just like this black AOE Nova that like consumes yeah. your own health. And like usually it's meant to be played with pets, but you can self cast it on yourself and deal damage to yourself. And it's been like mm -hmm. really good, like, popping off so you're, you're how do you can you life leech with your poison to get the health back that well you're i just have or like or a ton of region basically and i leech mm -hmm. chaos damage so it's like leech plus region but yeah i'm really really liking it. and like the cultist has like the the pop and there's so much density that that's been really really quite satisfying to play um trying to think about it. oh yeah so like the the currency pickup thing has been amazing like you don't have to like sit there and be like click 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 what do they click, change with click, that click. so yeah i don't i don't so even like if I you remember kill, like a whole pack 
Yeah. You know, like normally it would drop like 20 wisdom scrolls if you had your like your loot, loot filter turned yeah. off and you'd like sit there and click them. And now it's just like 20 times wisdom scrolls and you click that once. So, oh, so, it's, so it's basically like the gems in Diablo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So if, if let's say, let's say a chaos orb drops and an exalt and something else, I still have to click yep. those individually. Yep. It's, it doesn't just get all currency. No. Okay. It just That's puts them in okay. one stack instead of like click, 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 click. click yeah, click. it's better. It's yeah, definitely it's better. Definitely yeah. better. Um, cool. So I'm loving that change. Um, but yeah, the corruption, I think all the stuff that you can earn from the corruption, just like, I don't know that the word is like, it needs to be improved, but like the waiting maybe needs to change so that you're more likely to get those good modifiers. Cause I just, at this current time, it doesn't feel like it's. Yeah, it would suck to like take the time to six link an item. Oh, let's just say a chest, for example, you spend all the mats you need to, to get it linked and socket it how you want. Then you throw it in there, juice it up and hit corrupt on it. And then it turns to garbage. Then yeah. you're like, well, fuck, I got to start all over. Right. You know what I mean? My other big problem yeah. with it is like, you know, it's not easy to swap gear in Path of Exile because you have to like really account for your resistances and stuff. And then when, yep. you, when you put these things into the, the juicer and scourge them, like they corrupt them. So you like, you can't change like resistances like through harvest crafting and stuff like that. So it makes yeah. it like that much more difficult to like swap out gear. Yeah, I've definitely done that. You buy a piece of gear and you yeah. put it on and then you're like, oh my Damn, God. Damn, I need fire. Like, right. I'm like, oh my, I, I need X, Y, Z. And then you're like shuffling and like, oh, now I'm missing like two strength. Now I'm missing, or whatever yeah. it is. And it's just, it just this ends up being, what was a quick gear swap ends up being an hour of reconfiguring to try yeah. to make everything play out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so that part sucks. Um, hopefully that will continue to evolve. Um, and they're still making changes. They're, they've been patching basically every day. So that's what's, that's the cool thing about GGG and POE in general. It's like in Diablo, when the season hits, it hits like you're stuck. Yeah. And I get it because of leaderboards and things like that. But with POE, they, they're like, this isn't playing as we would like to see it play. Let's change it. Let's patch it. Yeah. You know? I agree. So. Yeah, that's cool. that's been, it's been really fun. I'm, like I said, super addicted. So it's like, even seeing the screen right now, I was like, man, I, I really want to play. And like, I know that Immortals like waiting, but I'm like, God damn it, I just want to like play the league. Um, yeah, you had some, you had some notes on your thoughts. You have like total spam of items on there. What do you mean by that? Oh yeah. So like, also while you're in the upside down, mobs have a chance to drop these like corrupted items and they're just, like just loot bomb it because ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time they're gonna be bad, and it's it's why like GGG doesn't let you i like like you need identity scrolls right so you like pick up all the stuff yeah. and then you go back to town and you ID it, but like instead it's like the corrupted items drop and you can see all the modifiers on them so you like you stop and you're like looking and you're like oh no it's not a base that I want or you're like oh is that did it roll live no, no I didn't roll live like I hate doing that and so basically i've just ended up like not even looking at them which yeah i'm probably i probably didn't pick up something that was amazing but there's just like too much shit to look that's at. what i found myself doing quite a bit and, it, and maybe that's just lack of um loot filter knowledge but it's like when i'm going through the game when i at first i'm like picking up stuff and iding it looking at it and then like up oh, selling it or whatever destroying it then eventually I'm like, dude, I'm tired of doing that. Like I spend so much time just looking at gear and trying to figure out if it's good that I stop. I just stop picking stuff up. I'm just running shit. And there's like, eventually, you know, I'm like, oh, this maybe, you know, I need, like, I know I need this base type of ax or something. So I'll start looking for that. But yeah. Um, so I definitely feel the pain there. And like I said, that probably comes with, with knowledge. Like that'll, you can make your loot filters tighter to what you specifically want. Maybe, I don't know. And that's been the other thing too, is you mentioned the loot filters is like, so I always go in and I set a custom on, they've been breaking like every day. I don't know what it is. What do you like mean? I log in every day and like my filter's off again. I had to like go remake it because like mm. stuff gets on it that it shouldn't be on there. And it's just like, it's breaking for everybody. So it's kind Weird. of annoying. Um, yeah cool, cool um but yeah so i'm almost like i think i'm like three maps yeah i'm three conquerors from killing awakener and i'm only like not even weekend at this point so i'm gonna go on ham nice dude. nice dude um and then this was pretty interesting so lost ark came out with their 
business model oh, to share snap. with people. I'm um, excited. I mean, I'm so conflicted on if I want to get in this beta or not. Like, yeah. Do I ruin it? Like, I'm so excited to play. I know. That I it's like, it. do I do I just jump in or should I? I almost want to like jump know, in man. and like not level, but just like go PvP. Can you at yeah. level one? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. If you I can, mean, I think level you have to get one. through the tutorial, but yeah. Well, that that takes like and get to the first town or something. Yeah. Yeah. I might, I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. Um. Yeah. So they've come out with kind of what they're thinking uh, for what the cash shop looks like. Um. So. Bullet point one here is so to ensure all purchases in game feel optional. It's important players have the path to acquire all our in game store items without having to make a purchase. Most items are That's available. Cool. Yeah, most items are available with crystals, which can be earned by trading gold at a player run exchange. Any item without a crystal price will be tradable via in game trading post. This means that all items will be available for in game earnable currencies with few exceptions, such as founder packs and service names or service changes like name change. Um, which is big. So basically, that's just, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. this means like you're not gonna feel sad because like people are running around looking cool, and you can never get that. Like you just gotta grind. I, I can already see a downside though. Yeah, it I mean like, everything is gonna be purchasable, right? Everything, everything's tradable, which means Billy well, not Bob everything's can go, tradable. But no, well, I don't think that's well, what that it means. says it says uh, acquire anything that's in the store. Yeah, yeah, you could you could the cosmetics. <laughs> Will be yeah, you, purchasable. You could buy. Yeah, yeah. Future. Maybe it's. We'll see. We'll see how it plays. I think the only negative yeah. about this is that, like the people that pay for all those yeah. currency items, like the crystals, um, it's going to be crazy bots. Just like Chad even said, I was already thinking the same. Like, so it's a free to play game. Open market. This does not say anything about open market. This says no, no, anything's no. in the. the yeah, it, it says it's in the store. Be able to buy. Yeah. And which is purely cosmetics from what we've seen in the other games, I think. There there were like some, you could buy some in-game bonuses, like you could buy resurrect flowers or feathers or whatever they were and um, drop tokens and things, I guess. But the uh, the botting, I think, this is going to open up free-to-play, so they're going to be able to make new accounts pretty quickly. And if you could bot the currency to sell, you know what I mean? We'll have to see. I, I hope they're. I hope they're you really quick and hard on that. So, you okay. Can't so, okay. Let me explain this. But okay, so you buy. You can buy crystals with real life cash, mm -hmm. or you or can buy you crystals can, with gold. With gold earned from the trading post. So, like, mm -hmm. what this does is it, is it benefits the people that are spending cash because they can get more like in game currency. To buy more things that they want but yeah. it doesn't really benefit anyone all that much and it's not like this, this will, isn't saying open trade like you're gonna be able to buy like top end raid gear off the trade post it's not what this is saying at all no no no, not at all but right. what this is saying is this is going to be a way that you uh whatever is tradable there i'm sure some in-game gear will be tradable too i would imagine but what this is going to do is it's going to let people buy currency so this is going to inflate prices like mad crazy because let's say i play the game a lot and I'm like, man, I just ground out 10,000 gold. And then you're like, man, I need 10,000 gold to buy well, XYZ. It's like wow tokens, right? Yeah, you're just going to go buy, you're going to go buy tokens and it's going to just inflate the price. Yeah, the wow tokens fuck the economy up. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Like crazy. Um, so I can see it's, that happening. Like you, like people buy up a bunch of crystals and then be like, well, I have all the money in the world, so I'm just going to buy up all these crystals. And I'll just like flood the market with my crystals and, like there'll be yeah. nothing left to trade. <laughs> yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna make it. What it'll end up doing is it'll make it, it'll make it hard for people who don't spend money because they're gonna because prices will be so inflated. Yeah, that the gear that is purchasable. Let's say that they have a sword on there. It's like purchasable, and it's gonna be like you know an outrageous amount of gold because people will just buy the gold, right? Yeah. So, uh, but they you know it, we'll have to see how they implement it it's not the end of the world i think it's a, a pretty fair system sounds like it sounds like if i want to go crazy ham on lost ark i can still get the cosmetics that i want without having to fork out yeah, cash I agree. so that's cool that's a cool thing and you're not like i don't know how most people function but it's usually like ooh, i like that 
It's not like yes. you're like, I want every single thing off of the cosmetic <laughs> store. It's like, yeah. I want the black outfit or whatever. So yeah, let's like, say they have like a Tron bike and right. I'm like, oh, that's so dope. I want the Tron bike. I can go grind for the Tron bike. Yeah. You know? Totally. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, and if as long as they don't directly sell power, I think I think they'll be fine. You know? Right. Um, two, as I said, we have updated how pet features function. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Pets would pick up stuff, I think. Original players would rent features on their pets each month. The pets would gain additional functionality. An epic grade pet would be available for free as a quest reward in the early stages of the game. In our version, pet purchases are permanent. This feature will be previously rented, are now available through Crystalline Aura benefits. Auto looting remains a feature of the pets regardless of whether or not you have a Crystalline Aura active. Okay, so the Crystalline Aura is like the battle pass, basically. Yeah, it's like the extra yeah, monthly yeah, yeah. juice. They're saying what did, I don't remember what that did. It get, did it. I don't think it gave you better drops, but it definitely it was gave like XP, you XP. It was yeah, like more. You get like more shards for like daily stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a bunch of stuff that was on the crystalline aura, but it sounds like yeah, it's it, not going to be as OP or it's going to be earnable. You know. Um, three, we tuned the timing on Mari's secret store to make purchases stay in the store for longer periods of time, giving players, uh, more time to make a purchase decision. Players will have 72 hours before the items rotate. I don't really know what that means because I don't remember what Mari's store So that's is. like an item shop. So I, the only thing I can relate this to is more like Fortnite. So Fortnite will throw a skin in their item shop and it's got like 48 hours to be purchasable. And then when they take it down, they almost never put it back up. So, and what that does is it creates the fear of missing out, right? Like, oh man, if I want this skin, I have to buy it right now or I'm never going to see it in the shop again. I would assume that it works very similar to that, but I don't really remember the secret store. So, um, but I, I bet that's what it is. Yeah. I bet that they, they had like this 24 hour window and then the shit would never be on sale again. Or at least if it was, it was months later. Yeah. So. Um, and then, most importantly, probably we've reconstructed our premium service, the Aura, that we just talked about, to provide fair and fully optional benefits to avoid potential pay-to-win mechanical advantages. Examples of this include removing the movement speed increase and the combat XP from the Aura, Ooh, um, which okay. is great. Um, yeah. And adding some PC cafe benefits and half-price ship tickets and stuff like that. So, although you get, like, half-price ship tickets, and that's going to be beneficial because, like, ship tickets are kind of expensive, like, mm -hmm. ultimately, like, how much cash and in-game currency you earn is just going to be complete contingent on like how much time you play and whatever you sell so i like i'm totally fine with this yeah so they're, they're super addressing the pay to win yeah which i think is really really good agreed. for the game i think i think this is a really good direction so far agreed makes me way more excited than i was yeah because they, they're addressing some of the scary things that i was nervous about I went, i'm curious to see, have, have you read through all that i'm curious to see what else we get through to see if they they change the raid tokens that's the huge one uh raid tokens like the drop tokens like the so like in raids you could do you had to like use some kind of token to get drops and you could buy more yeah I, you could only get one more like a day though i yeah. don't know i know uh, the, yeah, i know I'm you curious. could definitely spend real money to you get more pay raid for drops, advantage so. yeah yeah so hopefully that's gone, but we, yeah, we don't own that. Yeah, yet. let's see. Um, but that's not in here. Um, but yeah, so good changes just from what we've seen so far. Uh, again, like we said, there, there is definitely a lot of like pay for advantage stuff in, in the Korean and the Russian versions, and we'll have to see how those things plan out. But it sounds like they're this is very based, all of this. So I'm curious, mm -hmm. helpful, and yeah, they have this. They have this currency type breakdown on here, and it's like royal crystals are their version of the real world world money currency. Mm -hmm. And they even see what it's for. The crystals are used to buy crystal packages, which are down below, and it says um, cosmetics and other in-game items. But then crystals are right below, and it says that the same thing. So you can you can use those to acquire most of the things. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, this this man, I like what they did so far. Yeah. So. Gives me more hope. Gives me more know, excitement. No, when this man. game comes out, I want it to come out. I want more betas. We know the game's good. Just like translate it. I'm, I'm so on the fence if I'm going to play it or not, man. I might just wait to the not ruin the hype. Because yeah. I feel I feel like you're only going to get that hype, that, that extreme yeah. crazy hype the first time. And it's yeah. like, do I want to waste that on the beta? I don't know, man. So, yeah. Cause I, yeah. Yep, yep. But, but that's cool. I just have to like... Worst case scenario would be like 
So like we know that the next league for PUE is gonna be big. And we also know that, you know, Lost Ark's coming like early next year. I would hate for those yeah, to line I'm afraid up. they're gonna slam too much stuff in the same window, right? Yeah. I would hate like Let's a hope. brand new juicy PUE league to launch the same time as Lost Ark. I'd be so sad. Like yeah, I need like suck. a month on Lost Ark to like get super ground out and do all the raids for like every day and PvP my face off. And then I can like chill out and just like log in and do daily stuff. So. I know. There's they had a new uh Guardians of the Galaxy game come out this week and I was really interested in it. I didn't pull the trigger, I didn't buy it, but I was like on the Steam page. I'm like, oh man. It looks fun. It's a single player thing, so you'd hate it. But yep. uh for all the all the listeners out there that are into it, it you know the the early reviews i've seen look super positive so i'm curious that's another but I, i'm i am like last november was insane like last last year we had uh the wow expansion we had cyberpunk we had assassin's creed we had there were some major games that dropped all at this i think they had a d3 le a season uh and a poe league like all within like three weeks of each other it was like bang 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 so i hope that this one doesn't I hope it's staggered a little bit better. Yeah. You got some fluff hates? I do. This week? I do. Uh, yeah, so we had a grill on stream for like the first time in a long time. A grill? A grill. Okay. What did you grill? Hamburgers? Hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, for the most part, chat behaved. Um, but there were some like, you know, some cringy comments a few times. And thankfully, like, she doesn't know anything about Twitch and anything about the lingo or the memes or anything like that. So like it wasn't an issue, but what they know. like, give me an example. I was like, wish I had an example for you, but there's just like a few, like, Ugh. I thought about coming and trolling a little bit. <laughs> like what? I didn't, I, I didn't because it's not fair to her. Like I would fuck with you a hundred percent, but it's not fair to fuck with her because she's innocent. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know her. She hasn't done anything to me. So I, but I would definitely go troll you. Um, so I, I chose not to, but, uh, but no, it's cool, man. So how, how was it? How was the, that's a weird, it's not a weird, that's um a very awkward thing for somebody who's never done it to do. I yeah. feel like, like I remember, it's really. so like my wife isn't into Twitch. She isn't into gaming. She doesn't know anything or could care less about anything of it. The only reason that she came on stream is for me because she's like, you're so into this. I want to just see what it is. I want to see these people you hang out with every night. Yeah. And so, um, it, but it was, it was a little awkward and then she was nervous and stuff, you know? Yeah. So. That was the weirdest part. Cause like, Sarah was her name. She's not shy at all, like IRL, like at all. Yeah. But like asking her to like come behind the camera and like chat with chat was like, she was like really shy about it, which is kind of funny because it's like, what did you, you have like, it pre set up that, hey, I'm, you're going to do this that day? Or no, you, was I was just for the moment. Yeah, you know, something that people ask me afterwards is like, would it be a big deal if like a gal like didn't want to come on the stream? Like, absolutely not. Like, I don't, like, this my wife is my didn't thing. come on the camera for two years. Right. Like, yeah, like, I practically had to be like, come on, just do it. Like people want to meet you. And so, you know, I almost forced her to, to be honest, but she didn't really want to, she didn't care. And yeah. I, for a long time, I was like, yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Yeah. So I mean, it's free content, you know, for girls to come yeah. on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so. You can only come on the stream in a bikini. All right. Mm. That's what you got to do. Fluff. Just get a little pool set up, you know, yeah. in the back corner over there. Totally. Just be like, people can like write their name. Yeah. Do squats. Right. In a pool. Yeah. Every hundred hundred dollar donation gets a uh she slap you Only in the fans. face or oh. something. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. So I got some loves and then, then I got a story. Uh so Oh, this the, is supposed to be our Halloween special. We should have dressed up. Yeah, we should have, man. Wait, Rip. hold on. What the fuck is that creepy shit? The hell? Why is that just on hand? <laughs> Halloween special, baby. It's been sitting on my desk for a while. That's my son's. I don't even know. I don't know how it got in my office. It's been sitting next to my mouse forever now. 
Um, so yeah, so the I was I was going through McDonald's the other day to get my kids some dinner, right? Yeah, and I go through, and I pull up to the window to you know get my food, and it's taken them forever, like forever and ever. And I'm like, okay, I didn't order much. I mean, like some cheeseburgers and fries, like literally just straight cheeseburgers, fries. You know, it, I hear a horn honk behind me. And I'm like, I look over my wife. I'm like, is that from the dude behind us? She's like, I don't know, I think, guess. I don't know. And then like a minute goes by and he honks again. And then I hear him say something, but you can't like really make it out. You know, it's just like, you can hear him just kind of yelling. And then, so uh, she's like, is he talking to us? I'm like, I don't know. And then, um, so then like 30 seconds goes by and he starts yelling something else. And then, so this time I kind of like, I have my window down, but I kind of like open my door and look over mm -hmm. and I'm like, are you talking to me? And he's like, he's like, yeah, man, hurry the fuck up. I'm trying to get my food and go home. <laughs> I go, I'm like, what do you mean? Hurry up. I was like, I'm trying to get my food too. He's like, what's taking so long? I was like, I don't know. Does it look like I work here? You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's just like, so this guy is like pissed off at me because it's taken them a while to make the food. It was just this whole exchange that went down. And um, it's trippy, man. Like, what the hell is wrong with people sometimes? You know what I mean? Like, we we had this whole... My wife was finally like, just just let it go. Because, you know, I'm confrontational. Like, I'll start talking trash and stuff. And so my wife already knows. She's like, just get in the car, leave it alone. Like, it's not worth getting in trouble or getting in a fight over. I'm like, all right. So I just got back in the car. But it was, it's just funny, man. Like, people are people are crazy. So... Right on. So are you that's, are you dressing up for Halloween with your kids or I have an Iron Man outfit that I've had for like ten years or five Damn. years or a long time. Okay. It's 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 okay. It's nothing crazy, but it's like a you know, a full it's like a full onesie with some shoulder pads and a mask. I've got a couple I think I wore it on stream before. I've got a couple of that. So I was I was forced gump last weekend. Nice. <laughs> and uh this weekend we're all dressing up as Mario Kart characters and we have like little carts with balloons on of them and it's gonna be a good time can't wait there you go nice which which Mario Kart are you I'll be Yoshi Yoshi yeah who's like Bowser a, dude a you should have been Bowser man. I know that was between Bowser and Yoshi for me but. you should have been should have been Bowser Yoshi, Yoshi is just easier because I just get a onesie and like throw it on yeah so pretty cool let's um let's jump into some Twitter questions do it Um, if I missed any of your questions, I'm sorry, guys. I was rushing to get them done this week. Raul says, do you have any Halloween traditions and movies that you watch? Halloween traditions, comma, movies that you watch? No, I mean, I'm not a scary movie fan. I think that they're kind of cheesy and I've never really gotten into them. So, Did you watch Squid Game yet? No, I'm not going to watch Bro, Squid Game. Do it. All right, listen. Get your get your new boo. Get your get your grill that you brought on stream. And go throw on your nerves. <laughs> like you get that look like you don't say please just shut up. <laughs> you just go get your new grill and then go uh put on Netflix and watch Squid Game, man. It's no. good. Oh yeah, speaking of loves, somebody in chat just said Dune. Did you watch Dune? No, I haven't. Oh my god. Fabulous. Absolutely. If you watch Dune, it means you're not a true Path of Exile player, basically. No, it's amazing. Like, you got to watch it. It was probably the best movie I've seen in several years. Yeah. It was good. It was really good. And uh, they green lighted they green lighted the second one. So I'm 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 super super happy. Oh. Yeah, watch it, man. You need to go watch it. So uh, definitely loves that. No, I did not. That's a good question because you were going to ask me that. Did I look? Like we talked oh, about last Oh, did you week. look? I at actually your did not look. I 100% did not look. Uh -huh, Still, okay. don't, mm -mm, not gonna. Okay. Not gonna do it. So is that why you brought the the new grill on stream? Was that kind of a flex? Was it was like, oh, oh you unblocked God. me? <laughs> Here it is. Look. <laughs> There's here it no is. chance that Lindsay's even stopped by the stream. Oh, the my. God. If you think that people don't know that she didn't find out you had your new grill on stream, bro. No way. Come on. 
It was a flex. I, I honestly thought that. No. When, when people was like, Fluff's got his new girl on stream, I'm like, oh shit, he's trying to flex back. What? This such is what's a happening. weird flex. It's such a weird, like, I don't play games. It's fucking weird. Weird champ. <laughs> yeah, I don't play games. <laughs> flex? You're a fucking pro gamer, dude. What are you talking about? You don't play I games. Don't, I, I can't even believe you leaked that. I never talk about that. Oh, sorry. Um, moving on. So... Do I have any Halloween traditions or movies? Um, hmm. No, I mean, there's no traditions, but I, I, I don't even like scary movies that much. I think they're pretty bad. I think they're pretty garbage most of the time. My wife loves them, though, so I'll end up watching something crappy with her, some horrible movie that I don't enjoy, um, just as a tradition. And then we'll take the kids trick-or-treating. I mean, but most people with kids do that that's kind of depriving your kids if you don't take them out trick-or-treating right so yeah. no um hex says what halloween candy is the best what is the worst i like kit kats my man um you like kit kats okay. dark chocolate kit kat is probably my favorite candy really mm -hmm. really I thought you were gonna for sure go with the the uh, Twizzlers with They're the juice in the middle. Easy top fruity candy. But okay. Dark chocolate Kit Kat. But number one is the dark chocolate Kit Kat. Yeah. But frozen, cold. It's gotta be cold. Frozen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. I man, it's 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 hard for me. Like I like a lot of this stuff, but Reese's just specifically the Easter egg shaped ones. I don't know why they're better, but they're the best. I have peanut but butter Reese's, is not if if it was better quality so peanut bad, butter, dude. I would be all. It's some about it. their peanut butter. It makes it the taste what yeah. it is. It's just too. Baked. I like Reese's a lot. I also like um, I like paydays a lot and Snickers. Like those, like all the chocolates, like the the Snickers paydays and Reese's. I like a lot. Even even Kit Kats are okay. Um, but I I don't know if I could pick between those. So, mm. but I I definitely What's go snack. People. The worst? Oh, it's the candy corn, dude. Fuck candy, candy corn. Awful, yeah. <laughs> Shit's so Smarties, horrible. Smarties, candy corn. Smarties are okay. They're mm. tolerable, but candy corn's just disgusting. Um, and I'd say when I went, I went with, to the movie with my wife. Did, did we talk about this last pot? I don't remember. What did we go see? Uh, oh, Venom. Yeah, and Venom was garbage. I think we did. I hope about that. I got some. Dude, what was the candy called? Something I hadn't had in a long time at the theater. Mike and it's and like dots, but. It's not dots, but it's like dots. It's not What's Mike and dots. Ice. It's like dots. You know what dots are? No. You know what dots are? They're the little like candies nerds? that you chew and they get in your teeth and you have to clean your teeth out for four hours. I have no idea what I'm out. You don't know what dots? Oh shit, dude. Um God, I can't remember. I if I can remember, I'll try my wife will know. I'll try to ask her the name. I got these candy that I that I got as a kid. I thought they were so good. Uh juicy fruits. That's it. It was juicy fruits. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Juicy Fruits, Juicy but as a fruits kid, are gum. no, 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 it's like, it's like, they're like little, little squishy candies. I think, I think it was called Juicy Fruits. Hold on. Juicy Fruits is a, yeah, Juicy Fruit is gonna move ya. Yeah, is that a gum? No, it it's, a, right it's a candy. Ya. No, it's fucking gum. Oh, it's Juicy Fruits. J-U-J-Y. Juicy Fruits? Fruit? <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, what? No, look them up. Look them up. It's, it's legit a thing. It's legit a thing. J U J Y fruits. Juji? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Juji fruits? Something. I don't know. But these those things have always been in movie theaters. Forever. Mm. Like, do you see the box? Yeah. Have you ever seen those? You ever no. had them? So as a kid, I remember going to the movies and getting those and thinking they were so good. So I was like, oh man, I've I haven't seen had the those dots. in like I've seen the dots. I haven't had those in like 10 years. I'm going to buy, or 20 years. I'm going to buy a box of these things. They're fucking horrible, man. Like, I I ate like three, and I'm like, this is getting trashed. So, I'll do it. <laughs> um, Carmelicious says, what is something that only men can understand? Women just won't get it. I mean, there's a really easy one. Getting kicked in the junk. Getting hit in the junk. Well, I think women can have their No, but I don't think that. I don't think it feels as bad. Like it's they dude, like a birth children. A, yeah, no, no, no. no <laughs> but that's, that's like we don't understand that. 
Right. I'm just saying like the slightest graze. Like if you ever just had like that mm. little that little graze and it's just like drops you, right? You're just like down for the count. You know? Mm. Something that women will never understand. I don't know, man. That's a good one. I wish I had more time to think about that one. Okay. Well, we can come back to it. You can. You can say. Okay. I would. I would say. I would say getting hit. In the, because my wife has definitely asked me because she's like you know, played wrestle or whatever, and she's grazed a couple times, and I've been down. I'm like, oh, I'm out. Like I'm rolling on the ground in pain, and she's like, does it really hurt that bad? And I'm like, absolutely. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Koto says you're given a million bucks to spend, but you can only buy things that start with the letter F. What are you going to buy? Letter F. A fortress. Um, Ferrari. I knew you were going to say Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know, I don't even like their new ones. They're not on my list, but um, I'm not buying Ford anything. So car, that car's out. What else could we get? You know, what else is expensive? Fancy sailboat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can. It has to like be, you can't be like an adjective. I can't put like like freaking Lamborghini. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> Uh, what can we? Hmm. Falafel. Um, that's a, good a million bucks. Only things with the that F. starts with the F. I, listen, if you got some good ones, chat. You let me know. I don't think you can buy a fighter jet for a million bucks. No, you need way more than a million. You need like thirty-two million bucks. Um, I don't know. Hmm the most it's weird because you're thinking like what's the most yeah. expensive f word you can think of friends fluff would you buy some friends i've got plenty of friends <laughs> now <laughs> i got friends now <laughs> uh, let's see mm. i don't know all right this last question that we have on the pod today comes from Yours truly. This is P Child asking Fluff a question. Oh shit. Did the new girlfriend tell oh you she loves God. you? God. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best question of the night, dude. Did the new girlfriend tell you she look at his face? Yes, she has. No. Look at his face. <laughs> he fucking hide his mouth because he's lying. Oh man. Ridiculous. I had to. I had to. Ridiculous. I'm getting you back first off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you answer these fucking look at him sweat. <laughs> this is amazing. He's sweating so bad right now. I'm not. All right. <laughs> it's funny that you get so worked up. <laughs> it's funny. So I had to get you back. So we're in I'm you know, I fire up the stream the other night for the first time in forever. And people are instantly like, yo, Fluff's got his new his new girl on. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then so they start sending me a clip of Fluff telling the new girl that I ate frozen hot dogs as a kid or some shit, right? Yeah. And she's like, ooh, that's that's weird. Or I don't even know what she said, but I'm basically Fluff's like painting me as this fucking creeper now, right? <laughs> so I'm like, and, and actually so the I'm word was here. degenerate is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> and so and so uh I'm I'm sitting here like all right. I'm like, well, why is he talking about me when he's got his new girl in? So I threw some shade back and it, yeah. it's funny, man. The chats like it. They they love to come show me the clip of Fluff talking shit. And I'm sure they showed you the clip of me oh, yeah. talking shit back. And so, uh, but anyway, so when we were, when I was putting the questions together for the pod, I'm like, all right. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so. What's up? Answer the question, dude. No, it has not. No. Absolutely not. Okay. No, I, heard like, I think if I were to like probably fish for it, yeah, you could get it. Okay, but so I, so you think she's feeling it, but she's scared to tell you because you've probably demonstrated how cold you are. You know, <laughs> you've probably been like, I don't love anybody really. I've never cried. And... That's not true. I love myself. 
a lot. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oh man, that's all we had. Unless you Easy. thought of oh, a F word or uh, something women can't think of, we'll call it a day. Mm. You buy a farm. They want they want scary stories. We were supposed to talk scary stories. I, I've told my scary yeah, story before, so I, I don't really have more scary stories. Mm. But um, I guess you know I could rehash it if you we want i definitely have told the story before though yeah maybe Harry we'll save it fun. yeah we'll save it you want maybe to tell the next one will be the halloween special since we forgot this time yeah i mean if it, next time i'm streaming if you want to see it give it because you can come ask me and i'll i'll give you the story you know because i don't want to make trouble people to listen through yeah i can't be so, bothered to listen to you more than yeah an hour fluff's gotta that. fluff's gotta go work on his um his, his loves. Diablo Immortal. <laughs> PoE Scourge. <laughs> I want to play Scourge so bad right now, but I also want to like do Immortal due diligence. Yeah. It's a toss up. It's not a toss. I mean, I my heart. Do you feel pressure? Do you feel do you feel pressured to play Immortal? Yeah, because they sent us a phone. I know that's kind of Plus the same. It's Necro and like I want Necro to be the best version of itself so obviously they need my feedback otherwise it's yeah not like I, i'm definitely gonna play it like I, I think i am gonna play a lot more than i probably would have just because they went through the effort of sending us devices to play on and i think that's really fucking cool so i don't i don't want to have wasted their time and energy so i'm definitely gonna play so i can give some feedback um but i think a lot of it's just because because of that you know yeah. what i mean like i don't, I don't know how if I'm not feeling it, I, th I think I'm going to truck through it this time and play more than I'm. I Good. So. See that you do. You see that you do. Just listen. Tell me all about it so I can act like I played a whole lot. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, but yeah, I, I can't actually want to get it set up. So if anybody um, figures out a way to emulate this, then let me know so I can play on PC because that'd be really cool. So. Yeah. Peace. If you guys want to catch more of me, you can catch me at Twitter, Twitch, YouTube. All the places at the P child. Yeah, yeah. I'm Lord underscore Fluffy. Double those underscores on the Twitter. We'll see you boys next week for 166. 166. Peace out. Peace.